last video, we saw that when n is odd and bigger than one, we can write GLnR is isomorphic to the direct product of SLnR and a subgroup isomorphic to R star. In order to do that, we use the fact about the center of GLnR. So in this short video, I just want to prove that fact and tell you what the center of GLnR is. So the thing we want to prove is that the center of GLnR is the set of all matrices that are of the form some non-zero elements of R star C times the n by n identity matrix. So this is a scalar matrix. Let me point out that the argument we'll give here uh, doesn't really change much if you change GLnR to GLnC or to SLnR or something similar. So there's one like clever idea that goes into remembering this argument. Uh, let's say that A is in GLnR. And if A is in the center, then that means that A commutes with every matrix in GLnR. But if you just try to write down an arbitrary product, A times B, and set it equal to B times A, the equations you get are like a total mess. So the clever idea is that if A commutes with all the matrices, it commutes with all the matrices of a very particular form, where writing down that product is going to be easy. So what we'll do is let Eij be the n by n matrix that is entirely 0, except that it's 1 in the ij entry. So you might think, aha, A has to commute with these Eijs. No, that's not what I'm saying, because this matrix has determinant 0 you know, if n is bigger than 1. But if you take this Eij and you add the identity matrix, now you have a matrix in GLnR. So this is the key thing to remember for this argument, is that we're going to see what things are in the center by first saying what things even commute with these matrices. All right, so uh, let's just take A times IN plus EIJ and then compare it to IN plus EIJ times A. Well, uh, matrix multiplication is distributive. We get a plus A times Eij, which is A plus, well, OK, so Eij, the first j minus 1 columns are entirely 0. So that means over here, the first j minus 1 columns are 0. In the jth column, we have a 1 in the ith row. So we just get uh, the ith column of A in the jth column here. And then we get a whole bunch of zero columns from here on out. So just to write that again, A times Eij is, the, is all zero, except in the jth column, we get the ith column of A. And the, you know, the way that I remember this is uh, you're multiplying A by some matrix. But just think about what happens when you multiply A by a column vector and then see that the first, you know, every column except the jth column here uh, is entirely 0. OK. What happens if you multiply in the other order? You get the identity matrix plus Eij times A is A plus Eij times A. So what happens there? Well, now the first i minus rows are just like 0 rows. So you're going across a row down a column of A. It doesn't matter what's in that column of A if your row is all 0. So you get a whole bunch of rows of all zeros. and uh, then in the ith row, you get the jth row of A, right? Because in the ith row of Eij, it's all zeros except there's a 1 in the column J position. OK, then you get a whole bunch of zero rows after that. So what does that mean? Eij times A is all 0, except in the ith row, we get the jth row of A. It might be helpful to write down an example where like n equals 3 and ij is like 2, 3, or something like that, just to check that you really believe this calculation. So OK, if A is in the center of GLnR, these two matrices have to be equal to each other, which means everything except that the uh, a diagonal entry where these intersect has to be 0 
And when these things intersect, you get, um, you have to have the same thing in both of these matrices. So what this shows is that Aij is zero if I is not equal to J and all of the other diagonal entries, A11 or all of the diagonal entries, A11, AT2 up through ANN, these all have to be equal to each other. So uh, the proof is pretty easy. If you remember this idea of looking at these special matrices, identity plus Eij, and otherwise, uh, it can be a little bit of a mess uh, if you try to multiply A by a more general matrix.